What do you think the validity of this is? Do you think that this is actually real? First of all, do you think that Trump is really going to implement this? Because that I think that's the bigger question is because most people are actually horrified when you look at uh, what's in it. I don't think there's many people who would like most of the things that I saw in there. Right. And um, I certainly don't plan on going left this year. But if I if I believed for that to be true, I would certainly change my mind because it's, it's just too extreme. And I don't like any extreme. I don't like an extreme right. I don't like an extreme left. What's listed is absolutely extreme. So the first question that I think we should ask ourselves is, is there any validity to this? Trump, Trump says, says he, he, he denounced, denounced it. And um, I, I didn't see anything that would substantiate him actually going forward. Right. We could say that that's what he thinks, but there's no direct connection to him as yeah. far as I've seen. I, so I want I want to see if w how valid you think this actually is. What's your second question? You said it was two. No, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, this is real. This is real. This is what they've been planning. And it started with Reagan's um, administration. And this is like basically, you know, like in my mind, I don't I haven't read it and I still have more research to do. But there is like videos that I want to get into how this affects black people, because this is really about us, honestly. A lot of this stuff is to see black people made or paved the way for other communities. So there, those those other communities are being spoken about, but this is really going to affect a lot of black people. The Head Start thing, we're thirty percent of it. They rather, you know, chop the nose and spike their face. So yes, if Trump had twenty six of his members, uh, the people that used to be in his cabinet, uh, write this and then sit there and say, "Oh, I had nothing to do with it." Like these are your people, sir. You just mad because we caught on to it. And now he's denying it. And then I heard this is what he does. He just denies stuff and that's it. He just say one statement, everybody's supposed to believe him. No, I mean, they really had me, you know, mad at the Democrats, but now I'm swinging right back over there because no, 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 this cannot happen. Absolutely not. I'm gonna take my chances. It sounds like it sound like these document or these things is taken away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. I got you. I, I wanted to jump the viz and I, I got you. Okay. So I, I personally feel that this is uh, propaganda. Uh, I think that with with them using it, with the Democrats using it uh, primarily as a tool of fear, there's a reasoning to that. There's a reasoning to why uh, they are saying that um, that uh, Trump is going to be a dictator, that he's never going to get out of office. If I'm pretty sure that we all took the constitutional test in high school where that states that that's impossible. Um, we we have no, no, no that, that's impossible. The Second Amendment right is literally there to combat someone that would attempt to be a dictator. You know, that, there's 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 so many different laws and policies that have been set forth and and carried on for hundreds of years that will combat these very things so uh, me personally I, I feel that this is all a fear tactic to get black people to uh to not vote um for trump essentially or for towards the right uh, I, I think that a lot of it is being and I've looked into it. I, I haven't read all of it, but some of the things that uh, that I have read me personally, I agree with um, being that I, I don't me personally. I don't think that trans people should be in the army. If you're confused on who who and what you are, then I, I personally don't feel safe with you. Um uh, obtaining a firearm and protecting the the country uh now i mean if you if that's your choice and you know you want to uh live that type of life then uh, by all means do what you do but i i think that uh generals uh there's a general that's in the army that that came out and he's trans and he's walking around with makeup on i i, I don't think that there's a that that's a place for our military uh, and for people to to be in there, 
I, I personally wasn't in the military, but I'm very familiar with the military. I know a lot of people in the military. And I know that early on, when you go through that, that grunt stage, they strip you of everything. Everybody goes bald. They shave everything off. Everybody is uniform because you are no longer your own personal self. You are this machine, essentially, that's here to do a job. So if you're confused going into it, me personally, I, I think that that's a problem. I also think that it's a problem. Um, I also think that it's a problem that that schools are teaching kids minors about sexuality teaching them how to have uh gay sex essentially what they doing that absolutely they they <laughs> haven't uh, okay. they they good. haven't they no haven't, way they're they're having uh uh uh, I'm in the school things. they do not do that. And, and I'm, I'm going to say, yo, what? <laughs> and I've taught oh, from high um, school all the way down to kindergarten. I, I was still talking. They they may not be doing it at mm. short school, <laughs> but it is on the end. It, 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 it is man. A, I, that ain't no thing, man. <laughs> Y'all can be y'all can be naive to it if you want to, but that's that's your choice by all means. All you got to do is do your research. So, so uh, then, I just looked up the the agenda forty seven that's actually on Donald Trump page. It really is just a footnote of that policy. So instead of like, I give you an example. Instead of them saying, um, "We're going to," uh, we should say we schedule F. The uh, Marcus, your your mic a little low. Or, or, oh, instead of them saying we we gonna do, there you go. Describe with the federal workers. So agenda forty seven is uh, using impoundments to cut waste, stop inflation, and crush the deep state. So under that guise, everything's described with all under. Um, uh, let me see. Like if you just look through it, look through the agenda forty seven, and then find the corresponding thing that she was describing and how somebody would describe a solution to that but thing. You, you just you just ignored the key points that I was talking about and, and you focused on the ones that you wanted to talk about. So my my concern mm. and at the agenda uh, is that let, 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 let me finish though, okay. bro. Let me finish. So my concern, my biggest concern are are those two things. Um also uh, I, I think that it's imperative that we do bring back those family values uh, i think that it is imperative that we do bring back those family values that that was built off of this country you know what i'm saying that 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 in, ensures that we do have healthy families uh and that continues to go on much rather than having the the split families that we see now so uh, there are some things that i do agree with I know that there's something else where where people was using as a fear mongering tool um, to where the, uh, if you're in high school, if you go to a public school, then you have to take a military test essentially to see if you would be a good fit for the military due to the fact that a lot of people aren't joining the military anymore. I, I, I think that that is also that's that's not far fetched. If we don't have people here to defend our country, then that's that's a problem at the end of the day. Right now, we're on the verge. Trans, trans let me who are volunteering let me to go. go. But the trans man can't get in there, but but you're gonna force everybody here. You're gonna force the motherfuckers that don't want to go to the military to the military. Meanwhile, you got some niggas that want to do it, but because they got makeup on, you like, nah, keep them motherfuckers up. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna have makeup on. <laughs> no, dude, it, I'm darn. I, I don't know. I don't know how how uh, how often you keep up with it, but there's absolutely a general that has taken a picture in full blown makeup, wig no, and everything. I, I get that, no. but how does he so how I, does he how does he behave overseas when he got when he got bullets flying over his head? That's a, that's what we really want to know. If he overseas. Uh, the only, the only thing the only thing with that is I would say by that logic women shouldn't be uh, generals either. If you believe that, then it's consistent with your argument. Uh, but if you it, if you do believe that women can be generals, then that kind of kills that. Look, I, mean, hey, I, 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 I honestly don't I honestly don't think that women should be generals. I, just as we okay. saw how women uh, essentially failed 
in the position of the secret service uh some some position <laughs> women just simply don't I, I and this is not me being sexist or anything but i, I think that you women being that, sexist <laughs> Than, you than being so absolutely be sexist I, I mean so so be it if that's what it is but i, I feel that like it is. Were assassinated when women uh, were um uh, in charge of the secret service of all of the men that were assassinated as president or attempted assassination how many were women at the time being over the um secret service uh -oh. uh, I mean that 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 may that may be a great point, but, but I'm I'm addressing what we're seeing right now. So we we right now we're seeing, uh, we what we saw was uh three women essentially that uh that weren't able to show up and uh execute their job properly in the situation that they would need it. So uh, I, I I know some badass women out there that's 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 with the shits um but it's just because uh hiring women just to fit a quota uh, i think isn't is not a good uh point or status to take that affirmative action is can you can you just be honest because i know we had kind of talked about this in our own chat did you actually go look at her qualifications? Because what I did, because I didn't just want to say, oh, you know, men just always try to do that. I actually went to read what her qualifications were, not just hers, but all the way back until like maybe the 18th um, person who were of, of the Secret Service and looking okay. at her credentials her on paper, looking at her qualifications on paper, she was qualified. So now, we, we can all agree, we can all agree that just because you look qualified on paper, that means nothing when you're in the field. There's a, there's in relationships, we, we can talk about this all day. In relationships, a person could look great. Yeah, we only got a little bit more. You can, you can look amazing on paper, but in real life situations, that person ain't shit. Mm. So just because somebody looks good on paper, that means absolutely nothing to me. What no, matters to me, my, what matters to me. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you on that on that point. What I'm saying, like what we were talking discussing yesterday, is using saying that she wasn't qualified. The only reason, if, if this never happened, you would never hear anything. So she's being judged by that by that you know situation, which I understand. But well, what so I'm saying I, is, my, my to measure is, it. If, let if me, that's your let standard me clarify. Of measure. Then let you gotta clarify. go across the board, is all I'm saying. So that's, let me let me clarify. Let me clarify and then I'll digress. Um I, I personally whoever put her in position, put her in position. What I'm gauging it off of is what it is that we saw. So one thing that I'm aware of, uh that I can say that I can acknowledge is that whoever was on the the whatever secret service was on the roof. And they didn't see this guy on the roof for 30 minutes they failed their job right and then in the moment of where we saw those three women essentially panicking when this is not a situation where you need to be panicking this is a this is a situation where you need to be acting not reacting you need to be acting so it in those cases that is what i'm observing and that's what i'm pointing out as far as with her, I, I personally think it was an inside job because there's no way that you can be in an open field, essentially, and there's only one building with a roof or two buildings with a roof and nobody sees this person on the roof. So me personally, I feel that it's a, that it was an open job. I mean, an a inside job. Uh, also, the fact, and in, in this may be the conspiracy theorist in me, but the fact that this woman was appointed by Biden, uh, she protect, she served for Biden at one point, and then during this entire time, where people, where they, where the Democrats were essentially using Project Twenty Twenty Five as a fear mongering tool, saying, "Well, a president now can uh, can have someone deleted," then we have this situation now where it's kind of like okay well it almost looks like 
this president now that is whatever has passed this pair president now is behind in, in, uh trying to delete trump so i i think that is i don't know if it's a coincidence i don't know what it is all i'm doing is looking at it from a surface level and uh i mean hey that's that's just how it looks from to, to my hey. perspective all hey. right Cool. You so, say, all right, so you want to go? Go ahead. Viz, you, you can't it. sit here and say that Project 2025 is all fear mongering and then turn around and follow that up with, yeah, man, I think it's just a ruse. They're trying to get Trump taken out. And <laughs> come on, now, dog. So, the Democrats. What side of the fence do you follow? One of, one, of the things, one of the things that the Democrats have been pushing <clears throat> primarily is the fact that if this thing passes then trump essentially and they're they're directly pointed at trump then trump can have a political offender uh competitor executed and all of a sudden we have this situation happen where the secret service literally failed their job so i i'm again I'm not saying I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but all that I'm doing is observing what is being presented in front of me. All right, let's walk this down real quick just to make this make sense. So if Biden wanted Trump out of there, you mean to tell me the person <laughs> he got for the job is a 20 year old nerd. You never heard of a fall hold guy? On, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. A 20 year old nerd guy, guy that couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. He when he was in, when, he could hit a bar side of a barn. They he used to they was just it. talking about him saying that he couldn't shoot. I I, I definitely would have made that shot. That's not a hard shot, bro. And he was really, laying down, really, so he was stationary. Really, really, That's not a hard moved, shot. Bro, he moved his, his head. Like y'all, bro, I, I, I don't know if y'all I don't know. His high school you, 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 you're not even into guns, bro. I'm not, not into, but I, I know right, what so I heard. You, you can't even speak on it. No, yes, I can because you're you're saying something. But his literal high school team, where they were all on the team, where they was all shooters, even said he couldn't even make the team because he sucked at shooting. So you mean to tell me if the president they wanted to take out the high president? School. The man is he, he's he, three he years removed from 20. high school. So you saying that somebody can't get better at shooting in two years, bro? Mm. That's what you. That's what you're telling. They they, they can they can be, but I, I don't think that's the chosen shooter. Wait, the- wait, 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 Sweeney, you're expecting me to believe that somebody that does something for two years can't get better at it? That's you're that's your argument right you're now. You're assuming he's been doing it for. T- my point is, is if you're assuming that he has it. My pre- my point is because you're com- this is your conspiracy theory. I'm and just they didn't give him a scope, Viz. He didn't even have a scope on it. <laughs> Come on, bro. You that tell me that the iron iron iron. Oh, that that Biden, that harder shot. Biden is gonna hire a dude that is known for not being able to shoot and hit innocent bystanders. Dude, first of all, do we know what do we know what weapon he was using? Because Depending on the weapon, he has a good has a weapon. Weapon used could could be a uh could, could push a degree of difficulty on delivering a hit. He got an AR-15 through security. No, he climbed on the roof about 130 about 130 yards away. He climbed on his roof, and 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 this is the person that Biden hired. You want me to believe that? No, 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 no. What you're not understanding. Understand what I'm trying Have to say. Have you never heard of a fall guy? Yes, yes or no? Viz. This is a question, bro. Have yes. you, yes. Have yes. you yes. Yes. I heard of a fall guy. guy. However, you're Have saying you. that he wanted to take Donald Trump out. That means that you have to be able to succeed at what you're doing. And you mean to tell me? That he hired that the person that they hired was a dude with a rinky dink AR-15. To go stand on the roof 130 yards away and miss his target. He didn't miss. He hit him. Man, come on now, dog. That nigga missed. Oh, Lord. Come he on, missed. 